guys for those asking me how I did the glitter or the gold effect on the foil this is how I did it I imported the Super Mario logo into uh, clipping magic dot com and I'm just gonna clear off when you import it uh, to get the black background I uh, I saved okay first I saved one like this which would then just take out the white that's going to be um, used for something in a moment so you're gonna need three different saves and then I came and I did this Oops. sorry I came and chose the remove, which is red. And as you see, it removes based on color. So now I will download this PNG. When I'm done downloading that, I'll come back and remove the black so I can just have the letters. I will download that then I will import them into Silhouette. As soon as I find it. As you see, I have all three. Oh, I guess Super Mario. We'll start with that. I imported that. And then I imported the foil. I have a couple variations, so I imported a couple of variations to see where the where the person wanted the glow. As you see, I really like this one, which I want to say is this one, but I'm not certain. But we're gonna go with it anyway. Once I have chosen that, I will then click on the super, and I'm gonna have to put this down. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to hit the control button and tap on the gold. As you see, it turned it gold. Then I took the other logo that was that is the entire design and I created an offset. Once I create the offset, I chose a random color, clicked them both, and in the panel, uh, in the modify panel, sorry, I clicked divide, and this gave me the offset since my video froze. This gave me the offset to put around. So when using on a black t-shirt, it'll be black in these areas and you can distinguish the logo. Um, I did the same exact process that I did to change the letters from Super Mario or the color of Super Mario to this. I just pretty much clicked control while having this image clicked click control and on the foil and it'll change the color if it's not going on a black shirt let's say gray but you still or red and you still wanted the black then you would import um the black png that we had taken apart um in the initial part of the video and then if you um just want the offset then you'll bring in that logo where we just did the black with no words as well 
and um, you'll do an offset and it'll do on the inside and outside and the letters be knocked out. Sorry guys, my phone's tripping somehow. I got thousands and thousands of videos and photos and they all mean a lot to me too. So it's kind of hard to get through them and delete or, you know, put them in their place. Anyway, before this video cuts again, this is how it's done. There it goes. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.